Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a cheeky little preview for you and it's for a really fun and silly game called Kiwi which is coming to consoles and PC on August 31st 2021. This preview was done using PC code mind you but we played with the PlayStation controllers to get a feel for what it will be like on console. Let's have a look see shall we? Kiwi is a ridiculous concept. Two kiwi birds have been given charge of a post office and they are tasked with running the place, getting the mail out, getting the mail in, writing messages and deciphering incoming messages. But why kiwi birds? I've no idea why, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is that these flightless birds are actually really fun to play as and I gave the preview a go with my partner because I should talk to her every now and again, right? In fact, talking is important because Kiwi is a co-op game through and through. There is a single player mode, but honestly, co-op is the only way I want to play. Our first task was to get through the quick tutorial, and then we were in a lovely old-fashioned post office with an old rickety typewriter style keyboard that we had to send our little birds across to tap out the message displayed. Communication is key because you're awarded stamps for completing levels quickly. The quicker you complete the task, the more stamps you are awarded. Our first effort wasn't bad, but when we came back to the opening level later on, we smashed it and beat the goal time. The levels got progressively more complicated, but not necessarily difficult. The learning curve was smooth and fair, and even for my non-gaming partner, the game was easy to play and follow along. However, I can't see it being one for younger kids, especially if they can't read. The reliance on letters and words and reading will, unfortunately, block out a lot of potential players. A level further on in the demo had us shipping a box. This required us to complete several tasks like labelling the box correctly and setting the conveyor belt to send the package either north or south. Each task was made easier by working together to get the job done, even if it meant shouting instructions to each other despite being sat inches apart in front of the PC. Another level took us back to the familiar typewriter to type out more messages, only this time it was covered in vines and flowers. This is where things took an interesting turn. Thus far, we'd had it fairly good and we were coasting by quite nicely. I'm talking about the game, not our stale relationship, but the game took off the training wheels and made us really work. This level had us sending our birds across the screen to type the incoming messages by smashing the keys with our feathery bums, but we would have to contend with the vines covering the letters or even throwing them away, forcing us to fix the keys so that we could carry on. To further add some drama to the post office antics, I got myself eaten by a flower pod, which meant my partner had to come running to the rescue to set me free, so that we could continue. This happened a few times, and mostly to me, because I'm a clumsy clut. I had a good time playing Kiwi, it was silly, enjoyable fun, and it didn't get stale, even after an hour of playing. I'm looking forward to seeing what the full release brings when the game does release later this year. If you're after a co-op game, note this one down in your gaming calendar, because it looks like it could be something special. And that is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, go on down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and give the bell icon a nudge so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. Go to the info box and you'll find our website links, social media channels, and our supporters page. We can support the team, if you can. Or you can join this YouTube membership malarkey. Apparently it's good, who knows. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.